good. Uh, what do you want to go over, my friend? Um, I actually don't have any new codes from before. Uh, what is it? The update for the update. Yeah, no unfortunately. Worries. So what about VOD? Wait, do you want to go over a specific map? Um, from the match on yeah. yesterday. Um, I think positioning wise on lower you. Sorry, um, positioning wise on uh, what is it? It's either Paradiso or um, yeah, it's Paradiso mostly. Okay. Um, because on what was the other map we played? It was Paradiso. We and... played Oasis, Rialto, New Queens, and Paradiso. I think Paradiso um, is probably where this like Sigma. Actually, I think I need to revod my Sigma a little bit more. Okay. Um, it's not bad. It's just um, I'm getting used to. So I, I think I've told you this. I upped my sensitivity mm -hmm. um, to six from four point two zero. So mm -hmm. it's a decent jump. Okay. Um, so I've been trying to get used to it, mm -hmm. um, but also it's like my, I don't think, I think my gameplay has kind of gone down okay. on Sigma since then. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think I do need a general overview of how to, like a, a general review of the Sig play. Perfect. Um, I probably need to like just do some little bit more grinding and comp and get you a VOD. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We haven't done a comp VOD in a while. I would love to do one. How, how's that schedule I've been set up for you? been doing, is um, still doing this it past week it's been a little bit rough but um i'm getting back onto it this week good just yeah just in general, it's okay to drop like you know sometimes things comes up but as long as you're finding time to play ranked and to focus on rank not just play ranked yeah. but being like i'm going to develop my shield management i'm going to really practice trying to get a lot of value with my shield or i'm going to you know track my teammates position stuff like that as long as we're getting an hour and a half or two hours of just hard focus on a skill that's all i could ask so in terms of Sigma play here, right, what is the thing that we are looking to do as a team comp, not just as an individual versus their comp? Uh, we need, well, poke. But, yeah. Um, Who's the best sure target to poke out? Um, in general, either the, it's the Winston usually, yep. but um, also it wouldn't help to put pressure onto Echo mm -hmm. um, or um, the supports in the back. Mm-hmm. Um, I think your priority should probably actually be Winston for the most part. If you can get like a, a good pressure on their, I think you should. Here's what I think you should do: pressure Winston. When Winston jumps in, pressure the supports. Okay. Yeah. Um, because their entire composition is revolved around Winston jumping in, and if Winston right. never jumps in, then they never have a chance to win the video game, right? Right. So if we can poke him out, force him to use bubble early. For Suzu early, that helps us a bunch, right? Uh, we are F1. And then we are just looking for splash damage. Yeah, big poke, big poke. Right, for Suzu. Perfect, right? Maybe we eat the stickies next time, but I'm not worried about it, right? Good poke. Alright, so remember we talked about Rock with uh, Winston. Rock, uh, Sigma versus Winston and using our Rock, right? on Route 66. Do you remember what I told you about Rock? I should save it. Um, yeah. Until he's either landed and dropped Bubble, or um, Bubble is broken, probably. Yeah. I would say, because you, you can probably... It's easier to get the Rock here than it is when he's up here, quick jumping, throws Bubble, and then you're like in the middle area, yeah. right? I, so, it's about predicting and yeah. at that point. I would let your brig try and hit the the big flail shots. I would save your rock for like now, because imagine if you had rock like there, right? Okay, and then also our shield management here, right? We need to be pulling back our shield, right? I see you hold your shield like this, right? We need yeah. to be charging our shield, right? Our shield isn't charging still. Still not charging our shield. And I dropped five Wait, ago. yeah, you dropped way too early here, bud. Um, but in like in terms of like our in, like this can't happen. This we need right. our shield right now, right? Um, now let me ask you this, right? Why did you feel the need to drop? Um, I don't know. I remember last night I was trying to call the drop, 
Um, and I, I'm now not 100% sure why, because we our goal here is either the poke... Well, no, actually, it's because they were closing the distance, I thought, and mm -hmm. I didn't want to... I wanted to increase the distance again, because you said if they got into a certain position, we'd probably need to be on that back high ground. That forces them to jump a longer distance mm -hmm. um, and cross more area of poke. Um, so I had called the rotate mm -hmm. to back up, and okay. I. But I should be the last one to drop. That's the issue. I should never probably be the first one to drop. So here's what I would say: is you go here when they are all up here. Okay. You play here as long as you can. Right now, the the I think maybe I did a poor job of explaining it. Right, but. You need to have this mentality as tank is, I'm going to hold as far forward as you will let me, right? Right. And so if this Winston jumps up here by himself, you have Brig, you have Bap, you have Hanzo, you have yourself, right? This Winston dies here if you're here right now, right? Right. Instead, uh, he's able to live... Uh, and get a bunch of value, right? Yeah. So when it comes to holding this high ground, right make them force it forcefully take it from you right you came down here because you like you misunderstood the information i told you like if you get forced off of this high ground right let's say you're all one shot and you know the winston's gonna jump up or their anna rotates up or their their moira their kiriko and their soldier and their monkey are all rotated up here all four of them five of them and they have more brawl than you right they're gonna walk forward and kill you right right that's when we come to here right we don't drop low ground we make this we jump, jump. Here. Here. You make the jump. And, and then, I, I, then we play here, right? Right. So, right now, right, this is holding space, right, as tank. You gave up space for no reason. And honestly, right, it's kind of why we lost this fight. Because if I'm up there, then Echo doesn't get a free flight in. Um, Monkey is getting pressured out. Yeah, precisely. Because, like, let me put this scenario to you, right? Let's say... That their team ignores this high ground and just tries to play point. Is that good or bad for us? Um, that's oh, that's actually okay because it's such open ground that our Hanzo and Ash get free farm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm able to I'm able to drop and like contest that corner, so our BAP can keep me pocketed. Yeah. Um, and then we can also brawl. Perfect. Yeah. So what I would do right is they all go main have your like have your hanzo like up here and then or like your your ash baptiste and your hanzo come over here shoot arrows ash baptiste shoot arrows here you jump up here you're shooting this direction with a shield so much crossfire right yep you get dove on that's great you have 500 hp and you have a baptiste to keep you alive and you can have a and break, also a break. yeah yeah so i think we gave up the position too early so come back here, good pressure, right? Now, this is also in terms of, oopsie, alt tab. Now, in terms of getting HP here, we can bait and get a lot of health here, right? So, right. if we do use our left shift right now, right? Will we need it again in the next, like, 13 seconds? Maybe. But I think Sorry, it I'm might here. be worth for you to throw your shield, bait them into shooting it, drop your shield, yeah. click left shift. Because then I get so much health, especially because, like, I think uh, those no, those are not sticky, those are just your try shots, but I drop it, shift. Right yeah. Here. Right, and then let's, let's see, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I don't even think we need our left shift until then, so we probably would have been fine. Now, target pile. Yeah. Good or bad? Okay, so who should be shooting up primarily Winston? Yeah. I saw the supports me. Can you save your supports here? No. No. So we see a lot of other things we could be shooting. Yeah, the Echo and the Curie up top. Or the Soldier. Yeah, exactly right. I would just keep shooting the Soldier. Right? And then also shield management, right? Like the shield isn't helping you, you're just wasting it. Get it back, right? Again, shooting Winston, right? Like Winston, so like this this is the cycle with Winston, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. So right here, 
right? Let me go a little further back. So like here, shooting Winston, shooting Winston, shooting Winston, shooting Winston, so shooting Winston. We can shoot back line, but I think Winston is probably better, right? We want to, we want to yeah. shoot Winston, shoot Winston. Winston jumps up, right? We already talked about Rock. Only thing we can shoot right now is Winston, so it's fine. We shoot Winston. Winston has succeeded in his goal, right? We have not stopped the Winston from jumping up here, and he has lived and gotten value. Now that Winston has achieved the goal of jumping up here, there's not much more we could do. So now we shoot back line, right? Yep. Now we start shooting back line, shooting back line, shooting back line. Okay, and now this was dumb. Uh, I don't think it was. It was a little bit dumb, especially because all four of us uh, hopped out here. Okay. Um, I think just because, like, it's one thing if I'm out there, because I think I can sustain on that high for a little bit. Um, it just, um, both our Brig, our Bap, and Hanzo all jump that this high ground. Mm -hmm. And while the Hanzo and ba um, Bap can probably get back, the Brig is not in the best position. Okay, so I let me ask. So you can't get back either, actually, because you can't make. Yeah, this no, jump I back can't up. either. I can't either. So that's why I was thinking it's not the best position. To yeah. Be in. But, Can but... you rock jump up to that high ground? No. Or like primary up to the high ground? Mm -mm. No. Too big. Uh, but let's let me see. kill feed. Right. Let's look at this kill feed. We got a pick, right? Yeah. Got another pick. We can brawl. We probably could brawl. I would walk in this monkey's face. And I would be like, Brig, get your ass down here. Fucking pummel him. Right? Like, right, they're feeding here. They're down too. I would go, I would maybe go for a brawl here. Especially, look, look at this. You have everyone here. Drop and brawl, right? This is, this is winnable territory. We got another pick. Go. Drop and brawl. Go, 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 go. Right? Now I can, I do think that you can play up here a little bit for poke. Um, it's just that you probably need to just, I'm not actually sure. Because the issue is I can't get back. Yeah. The other high ground. It's like an all or nothing kind of thing. Um, this is where I, I think D.Va would be really good. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that, that rock was really lucky. Yeah, but that is a good rock. They were laughing about it on the enemy's VOD last night about mm -hmm. that rock because they were like, okay, I'm going in three, two, oh god, I just got hit. <laughs> hey, can I just yeah. say, Florida perfectly fucking punished the Hanzo that was trying to play on that same high ground. Mm -hmm. Like, he jumped behind him, knocked him into us. It was like, it was beautiful watching that in third person. Uh, the, on Winston or on Sig? Yeah, on, on our attack, oh, okay, Florida yeah. like jumped behind the Hanzo we'll and knocked the Hanzo right into right. us. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Yeah, I think I've made a decision thing. I think you just play up here and just shoot. Yeah, maybe I think shield. it's safer um, unless we're up by a lot. Then we brawl, um, right? And, and like, we, brawl, we right? should still be brawling here. Like, their Winston jumps in. Like, we can. I would tell you to drop on this Winston. Yeah, good, 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 good. Tell your Brig, scream at your Brig, right? Say Brig, brawl, Brig, brawl. Help me, help me, brawl. Right? If you make a brawl, right? Scream at your Brig. Your Brig's the big brawl yeah. component. Anyway. We have set up again. Okay, we pack Brig. Okay, they make this jump here. Let's go back to you. Good try. Nice. Alright, I really like this reposition, though. This is a good reposition. Right? Oh, why we stop? Yeah, keep going. Nice. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, uh, you could maybe got a bit more. That's alright. Why are we playing back here? We can play up here. Get some poke. It has been a little bit since I didn't know where to set up for right. parity still. So, so I just was... ask this to yourself every time. Where is the most aggressive spot they are letting me play? Safely. Right? right. And that would be here. Because we can shoot Sojourn, we can shoot Moira, we can shoot Echo, right? We can shoot these squishies here, right? Nice, good bio. Good shots on Echo. 
right? Now, I would say, now let, let me ask you this, right? In this position where the monkey is here, right? We're playing here. Should we be looking to shoot Winston or should we be looking to shoot Squishies? Um, Winston, probably. Okay, good. I like that answer. Um, squishies no. is always not a bad idea to shoot, but Winston, uh, to try to wear him down and force him to have to yeah. burn even more time getting healed back up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pivot to that real quick. What about now? Um, now that they're, um, now I could be shooting squishies, probably. I think so, because you want to be shooting Winston, right, before he's in range to dive, right? Right. But now he's in range to dive, and he's full HP, right? So they have effectively rotated and gotten into jumping distance with enough health and bubble, right? So at this point... It is no longer in your best interest to shoot Winston. Winston has achieved his objective, right? Right? You have done your best to prevent him from getting close to full HP. He's gotten close to full HP, so now we look to shoot squishies, which is exactly what we do, right? So that's good. So nice. And then we off tracks with the big kills. Play more aggressively. Yeah. Like what? What? What are you like? In, oh, your thought process here. Like, I want to understand. Like, what are you afraid of by playing up here? Nothing really. It just. Um, so, what was the think, the instinct for this? Because I'm trying to understand. The instinct that. was mm -hmm. getting. I don't know. Is the carts to our left? Mm -hmm. Right. Am I? It's been a little bit since we played Paradiso, right? Yeah. So I was being a little bit more defensive than okay. I probably should have been. Um, because in my head, I'm playing to, because the Winston's gonna try to dive the squishies that are all set up on the building directly behind me. Um, that's gonna be his primary job. He's not gonna, he'll never really try to dive just me, mm -hmm. or just me and Bap. He's mm -hmm. gonna try to dive the Ash who's sitting out in the open along with the Brig. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting there in a kind of midway position. Okay. That if the Winston jumps my back line, I can put a shield down and either shoot the squishies or shoot him and okay. help my team out. So let me ask you this. You said put a shield down. Where are you going to put a shield? I was just going to put it midway between... Ah, yeah. It, it a Winston, it's a Winston, right? Anna. Yeah, it's more applicable to Ana. Um, if he was an Ana diving, I would put the shield in between him as he jumped so the Ana couldn't heal him while mm -hmm. it was up on that high ground. Um, but, um, if, because in this situation, then it might just be better, uh, to, I agree, pr I do agree that playing on that forward position is probably better. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just... So here's what I would do, right? I would play here every time, no matter if, if they have an in it or not. Because if the Winston jumps up here, uses bubble, that's value. Because he can't stay up here very long. You right. wait out the bubble, break it, then you walk back, drops down. Good. Right? They have an Anna who's healing from here. Right? Right. We can just let the Winston jump up here. We can't stop it, right? We're playing for our own damage, our own value, right? And right. then we can just throw the shield either here or we can just throw it here, right? We can do that from here, right? Right. The, the distance it takes to come from here to here is minimal, right? And the value you get playing here is so much greater than here, right? So it's, it's worth it to... Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I can't shoot anymore. Maybe come back, shoot here, and throw a shield up here or over here to stop damage. Right? Right. But you just have to trust that your Brig and your Ash can live here. Because your Brig can bash away. Uh, she can whip shot and proc inspire, bash away to here, get to the corner. Your Ash has coach gun. They have resources to live, right? They are more of a bait than anything, right? This is where the damage is. You and Hanzo are the damage. Specifically you, right? So, just playing for our own poke here, right? And we could be helping our Hanzo out. Okay. That's tough. Good try. Drop and brawl. Good. Nice. Nice.
Good. I already talked about that. It's redundant. But, like, yeah, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Like, there is nothing you can do to stop this. Even if you put a shield here, it's not even worth your time. I would just use your yeah, shield for yourself. Right, like, you know, you can really just put a shield here. That doesn't do much, right? So, you know, just point. Uh, now we have Rally, right? And Rally, especially with... So this Rally box, right? You now have a, you now have a Reinhardt on your team. Yep. You have a Reinhardt on your team. They have a Winston. Just yeah, with this new ra with this new rally. Yeah, it's basically a Reinhardt. Yep, you just walk in, big ass shield, stun, right? Just help your help crack. Right? Yep, just you know, sooner the better. Just walk in with them. Yep, good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going. Nice left shift. Looking to use her shield a bit more here. I think we forget about our shield a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I think we could be using it a bit more. Yeah, I, I, um, I noticed that my shield and shift I don't use as much as they should be used. Mm -hmm. Um, like, I should be kind of using my shift, not near, obviously you need to save it for big moments, but mm -hmm. like, in general it feels like I don't use the shift or the shield properly. Yeah, um, like, during this stage of the fight, you could be using your shift, right? Shoot, shoot, yeah. shoot throw your shield out, be like, haha, break my shield, and then say psych. And then by the time they actually walk up here, your shift cooldown will be on like three seconds. And you'll have like right. full shield, and then they jump up here, and you're like, I'm probably not going to need shift for, until I drop to low ground, but I'm not going to drop to low ground until we're winning, right? Right. Um, and so I think, rem and then also remembering to redeploy your shield, or withdraw your shield. You leave it out. Yeah. Um, you, leave, you forget to deploy your shield, and you forget to leave it out. So like, you left your shield out, deploy, good. Early flux here, okay. Big flux. Now, what can we do a little dip better here with flux? Um, I need to be hiding on the left hand side high ground or getting out of line of sight as fast as humanly possible. Because if they had a good Ana on their team, I'd be slept. Or if they had a Sigma, I'd be mm. rocked. That too. Um, so. But also, where are we going to end up? I need to be on the high ground. That's yeah. the other thing. Yeah, I position yeah, reposition. I, so I think up here is goaded, right? You just got a, yeah. a bunch of damage. You can play this. Like, where's the most aggressive position? Now, right here is the most aggressive position you're allowed to play because they're so low HP and resources. This is this is acceptable. This is very powerful, actually. This is where I would go. Right, because now we're on the low ground. Yeah, yeah. It's like transcendence, right? You transcendence, you go aggressive in like the last three seconds of transcendence, or like last second or two of trans, you need to be repositioned, right? Okay. I I'm so. <laughs> That's okay. Only thing I, I was gonna say. I shifted, I shifted a Winston, and I could have shifted those stickies as well. Yeah, but what's uh, the big thing you need to be scared of right now? You're brawling, but they have what character now? What's different about their team? Winston. And... No. What's different? Like, what did they change? Do you, re do you recognize? Ana, they have Ana now. Mm -hmm. And so, what's the I big? I didn't down? recognize it in the moment. Yeah. Um, but that's what I gotta be paying attention to. Yeah. And um, right now, she's doing this. Main. What do you think she's about to do when she does this? Nade. She walks into you. Yeah. She, she's about to nade you. If you if you get naded here, you might die. So I would be yeah. careful here. I'd be like, you know, it's the same thing versus Reinhardt. You're like, oh, they have an Ana, right? And we have Bap. Yeah. We have Bap Lucio. I need to be. The, the thing that I'm looking for as Reinhardt is Anna cooldown, yeah. right? I'm treating it like Shatter, basically. Like, Anna has Nade. That is my number one priority. Block the Nade. I don't care if I don't get damage. I don't care if I don't get Fire Strikes. Block the Nade. If I don't, we lose. So, like, right here. Fine, fine. Then you see Anna right here. I'd be holding. I would be click left shift. I'm like, I'm not getting purple. If I get purpled right now, we lose. Yeah, Something let me just clean up. That's all right. Alright, let's talk a about little bit of a little bit of Winston gameplay. Winston gameplay. So let's let's what's before we go on. So what are some things we need to work on as Sigma? Um shield and shift usage, first yep. off. Um, what specifically off, about your shield? Um shield uh re re redeploying it. So basically calling it back. Yep. Um and letting it charge as fast as humanly bought not yep. fast as humanly, but when as it's often. no longer useful. Yeah. 
at just as often. And then shift wise, using it um, more after I redeploy my shield. Yeah. Um, to build up HP. Pre fight also, left used, shift. Yeah. Pre fight uh, left shift more than I use shield, and then mid fight shield more than shift typically. Mm -hmm. But but if they have an Ana shift. If she's really brawling. If she's brawling. Yeah, and she's far um, away, you can react with your shield. Yeah. But like, if she's in your face, yeah. you're like, "Fuck, I can't get purple right now." Yeah. Uh, um, and then positioning wise, being more aggressive, mm -hmm. uh, being as aggressive as they will allow me, I should say. Not that allow that applies but, to every tank, every yeah, single tank. Every tank that applies to every tank. Uh, and then positioning with our fluxes, you know. But good, right? Took away most uh, all of it. So. Really good, right? Not taking poke. We're trying to get as close as possible. Now, where's the most aggressive position we could walk to right now? Uh, the bottom left-hand corner. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, really good jump. A little greedy with the bubble. But we don't get punished too hard. We need almost died. A little greedy yeah, with I bubble. Mean, I, I, I did stay a little bit too long there. Um, I don't I, think you stayed too long. I mean, yeah, you stayed too long. But I think the big issue was, like, when tanks lose their armor, that's when you need to be ready to go, right? Like, you have no armor, right? Your bubble kind of saves you here. So, like, your bubble allows you to stay a bit longer. But but then I need to get out of here when I'm, like... Like, now. You, your bubble's broken. Yeah. You have no health. You need to leave. Um, so, what could we have done better? It's pretty simple here, right? Let's just... Um... I, the thing is, like, I'm. It's me being um, either using. I either use my bubble too early or I use my bubble too late. Mm -hmm. um, that's the thing I'm trying to find the happy medium towards because mm -hmm. I tried to hold on to my bubble a little bit longer than I normally did here. Mm -hmm. um, because that is an issue I've had in the past. Yeah, I remember talking about that a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, I probably should drop it as soon as I get over the high ground and my bubble will fall onto the high ground. Here's what like, I would say. Throw right bubble, here. right, here. like, yeah, like here. Like, as soon as you land. As soon as you land, it is safe to throw a bubble. The issue that you have when you threw bubble in the past is if you, like, let's say you made a jump from here to here. You would plop bubble, like, here, and then land here. Mm -hmm. So the you, where you actually landed, the bubble would be behind you. Right. Um, and so... Just throwing bubble where you land and not like, you know, because you know the Winston Tech where you jump and you hold space, you go a little bit further. Yeah. You do uh, that sometimes, right? You'll you'll jump, hold yeah. space, and then but you'll throw bubble when you land, and then you'll jump forward in space, and then you'll be at the edge of your bubble, and you're like, oh, well, they're over here now, and I want to have my bubble here. So throw bubble as soon as you land, I would say. Um, yeah. Because I could have avoided a rock there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, also just think about their mobility, right, and, like, their damage threat. Like, if you're... If you're on a, if you're, let, let's put it like a brig, right? I think a brig's a perfect example. Does yeah. brig have a lot of damage threat to you if you're one v oneing her? No. Right, but like, let's say there's uh, an Anna pocketing have, her, right? Anna does, yes, Anna, yes, with yeah. a. But yeah, um, let's hear. Let me let me phrase this a bit better. So let's say Anna's like all the way over here, right, and she's pocketing her brig on high ground here. If we jump up here, right, and throw and throw bubble, right. The brig can bash away, right? And then we're out of our bubble, right? That's not what we want. We'd be in our bubble. So she has low damage threat. So what we could do is we could jump, wait for her to bash away, walk forward, and bubble, right? That's kind of like when we hold onto our bubble a bit greedily because we know they have low damage and high mobility, so we can just walk forward, chase them down. Um, but if they have high damage, right, you know, we need like to bubble instantly. Sig, Ash, yeah. Sig Hanzo specifically mm -hmm. at yep. close range, or Diva Hanzo yep. at close range, then dropping bubble is really important. Yep. Because we don't want to lose our armor. But we force them off low ground. Nice bubble, really good bubble. Bunch of damage, bunch of pressure. It's okay. Nice. Now we're just cleaning up here. Okay. So. Yeah, I think you just jump on that high ground, just waiting for your Anna, which is good. Now your Anna's in position, so we go. And we go. Yep, we should be going. Good. Nice, good bubble. Good, perfect. That's the jump I was talking about. Yep. I love that. Now, 
but now I now we're doing, in trouble, right? Now we now so like I fell off the high ground, right? Because I you're chasing a kill, right? So good. Yeah, but the thing is, I go into the middle of the open ground where mm -hmm. everyone can shoot at me instead of going like behind the red building direct. Like Perfect. I went left instead of right. I should be hiding behind the red building. Let my Ana heal me Where's up. Where's this and here? I, no, where, no. where are you talking about? When I get my jump and cooldowns, yes, but I'm not full HP. So I was thinking going left, getting healed up by my Ana. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, from my perspective. Yeah, so, so basically, up here? It's the, no, 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 the building I landed on initially when I jumped yeah. the Hanzo. Okay. Like, sitting behind it for half a second, just mm -hmm. so I can get my HP up. Oh, no, I guess being on that corner, I'm not in that much danger outside the Sigma. Yeah. I, I don't need to walk out. No, definitely. That's the, that's, the, that's the mistake that I make here. If I just stay in that corner, and they're like, and that uh, Sigma is had his heart set at just shooting me constantly, I have my Ana just sitting right there. Uh, the only risk I'd be at is if he dropped shield in front of me, and then I could just get out if I had to. But, like, I should probably... I need to play a corner, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And it's either the more passive corner that's behind me uh, on the red building or pink building or whatever color building it is to my left, or playing this green corner a little bit more. My tire change. One sec. So yeah, I think um, either retreating or playing red building. But like, let's talk about this. I uh, think maybe you said I wasn't hey, fully uh, listening. Normal time tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, normal. Um, let me let me. Wait, hold on. Over. But before you go over, let me ask you this. I just want to ask a simple question. Where is the most aggressive place that we could play safely? I know it can be the building behind them, but I wanted to build up HP before I could get, um, before I make that jump over top of them. Um, so so wanted... why is this position? This is where I would go. That's where you would go. Why does this feel uh, unsafe to you? No, 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 not. No, I just wanted. You want to get your HP back, right? I wanted to get my HP back, but so, I understand it's in my line of sight, Ana. But yeah. like, I just was worried that if I, if I jump up there and I'm, well, not here, not this part. Yeah, because if, uh, if we before cause then before that if we go from this part here, yeah, if I just sit on this corner. For just mm -hmm. a half a second, mm -hmm. even though the stigma is shooting me, uh, actually no, I, that's why I wanted the backup behind pink, get healed back up, then get set back up mm -hmm. into the high ground. Even though I know Ana can see me, um, I'd be worried about jumping up there. And uh, no, in the end, Ana can still see me. No so here, here's my biggest. This is suboptimal. This isn't bad, but it's mm -hmm. suboptimal because by you playing here, you are not making space. Okay, this sight line is uncontested, right? And now we can't directly contest it. However, playing up here adds a I threat. Did, um, I did want to contest it, though. That's the thing. I wanted can't. to get my health back and then contest it. Um, but how do we like, contest the high ground? How do we contest this lane here, right? I, I wanted to get up to that high ground, but I... I wanted to get health back first before I start contesting. So I understand you want to get health back, but you don't you need you don't need HP to get here because this is safe. You have cover, they have really no way to duel you. If they do come and duel you, you're fine. You have nano boost. Nano boost can bail you out, your Anna can take a position. What I'm saying is this is the best spot you could go. Okay. Right? There are, there is no exception in my mind that says this is a bad spot. If they're playing Diva, maybe it's a different story. If they're playing Ash, they're playing Baptiste. Right, your Anna's an LOS. You can drop, play this Cubby, pocket you. She has cover, nano boost, like everything here. And so, the most effective spot by far would be for you to play here. Now, you coming in the open, we already talked about this. A feeder's taking useless damage. Yeah. If you play this corner, you're it's just yeah. you're you're not even allowing your teammates to peek, right? Like your your Zen and your Anna have a hard time peeking because you're playing here, right? Like, can your Anna even see you? Like your Anna can't even see you on this corner. Yeah. Right? Like, she has to come all... I mean, she has to come all the way out here, and, like, even though it's kind of scary. So I would just go on the high ground, sit up here, chill, have my Anna drop and heal me, or play over here on the sub side and heal me. But it's fine. We get our HP back. We get our bubble, right? And Larry dies. Why does Larry die? Let's see if we can do anything about that. Yeah. It's because I... It's because of the walking out. I, I delay it for too long. And then um, I get distracted because the Hanzo gets brought back to life. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, where what do we need to be doing right now? I need to be jumping for space, so I need to either jump to a high ground on the right, uh, where you are saying. Mm. I need to jump somewhere to get to draw their focus away. Because um, right now they're entirely focused on my back line. Mm. And you have bubble too, so I would say you could even make this jump. You could go all the way here. Yeah. You could yeah, do the um, do the split the focus jump. Yep. Like on the all the way here, throw a bubble. And then when you get low, where do we jump to? When you're here, where do high we ground. want to? Where? High ground, left hand side. Up um, here? Yeah. Yes. So that way I'm in safety and Diana can peek me. Yep. So we get distracted, we take too long, and that's why uh, Larry dies. Right, you come up here, which is good, right? You get that intuition, then we just go in, have primal. Big damage, big primal. Sorry, juggling's hard. Okay, now we're low, we need to live. Oh wow, that was really greedy. So, you know, living is the most important part, right? So I would jump out now. Yep. My That's priority just, is out. out. I jump out, get my anti heal. So make sure big thing with, like big thing with Winston, living with primal, right? Yeah, you get really low. You just took a risk, which is fine. Risk, you have to take risks to win games. Now I think that was an unnecessary risk, but it worked, so it's okay. Yeah, I think, um, so like aggressive, right? Where's the most aggressive position we could be playing? By that doorway up yep. there, because yep. then I, because oh, I have jump, I have bubble, I have yep. a way to get out. Perfect, uh, yep. And the Ana can play high ground and still heal me. Yep, perfect, perfect. Uh, That's what we need to be thinking of though, so where where's the most aggressive yeah. spot, right? Because we allow the Baptiste to walk out, and we could be stopping them from walking out here, right? Stopping them from walking out. And so instead what we have to do is we have to jump in, use our bubble here instead of here, right? Look, this E would get so much value, right, with our Winston Cleave. We have to use jump, we use bubble in a suboptimal spot, because we're not playing there already. And you know, hypothetically, maybe we die because we don't have a jump to get out, right? Just a thought. Uh-oh. Nice bubble. Nice attention split. Good target with your I, I echo. Charged, I charged, I charged too high. Let's see here, what we could have done better. Discord goes into the Mercy, and I switched the Hanzo because the Echo... I, I shouldn't have... I'm half HP. I shouldn't jump out of a bubble into a Hanzo that is pocketed with Storm yeah. Arrow. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep, that's it. No bubble, half HP. Right? That's why you lost. Or that's why you died here. So, that's that's it. Nothing too deep. You're half HP, and you don't have your bubble cooldown. That's why you died. Alright, let's talk about next team fight. So, set up here. Good. This is a really good jump for space. Right? Nice. Playing the corner. Get her jump. Go in the Hanzo. Unforge. But, like, we're controlling space. This is good, right? Force the Hanzo back. Allow our supports to rotate. You've done your job. Thumbs up. Now our supports are in position. We look to get healed up and make an aggressive dive. I don't know why you're not getting healed. Nice. I should get out right now. Yeah... This is risky. I should have probably jumped. I, the thing is, I should have jumped out um, as soon as I got the kill on the Hanzo. Because if I stay, I just overstay my welcome a little bit too long. I, I have think. my cooldowns, but like I should at least. Wait, do I not draw bubble that entire you do. time? You do. You did it way too early. Like, look at this. Oh yeah, no, I dropped my bubble here. Yeah. So if um, we if we just a little bit closer, right here, a little bit closer, right? Yep. Yeah. Like this is this is talking about leap, right? Right, same thing with Brick Rush, like, ooh, they have Leap, right? Maybe I wait for him to use Leap, then walk forward with Bubble. But also, like, I don't know why Optrex wasn't healing you. You should have been screaming at him, because if we had a little bit more health here, I think we get to, like, 360-ish. Yeah, like, right here, I would just be telling Optrex to heal you, right? Like, hey, like, you don't have armor health. Armor is very important. You need armor. Um, yeah, we just used Bubble a bit early. We get the pick, right? Now here's the thing, right? We don't have bubble, and we jump further, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. I should have, after I got that kill on the Hanzo, I didn't have any of my cooldowns, so I need to just get out. I think, I mean, yeah, you need to get out, but like, you can stay for a bit, right? Like, right here, 
stay. Just shoot. Just stay. Right? You don't need to jump. Just stay. Right? Stay, stay, stay. You lose your armor health, then you jump. Right? Yeah. Now, like, like you're fine right now, right? If you had jump right now, you're still okay, right? You're still okay. You have jump, right? Pretending we have jump. You're still good. You're still good. Still good. Now we leave. Right? Now we jump out. That'd be one oh. second too late. Yeah. And also... Alright, next team fight here. Okay, so now this is important. No, 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 this is the this was the bad one. Yeah. So uh, this thing, I should have gone high ground with the Ana here. Well, it doesn't matter. Both are viable, right? Now this is a better spot for your Anna, right? And so your Anna should be saying, "Hey, Winston, help me clear high ground, right?" Or you should look at your Anna, right? Because you know you can only make good jumps because your Anna LOS, right? Right. Um. Do you it recognize that your animals on know. high ground? I don't think you do, do you? Let's see. No, I mean, so the thing is, the reason why I actually I did know Ana was on high ground here, mm -hmm. I don't know why in my head I think Ana going high ground, I stay low ground, and then when the Ana's set up, I jump across her LOS to get Nana mm -hmm. um, and land in them, even yeah. though that's not always the best course of action. Uh, that's just something that keeps going on in my head sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm playing Winston is, okay, I'll jump across the Ana's uh, LOS so I can get Nano instead of being directly in front of my Ana so she has an easy time with mm -hmm. Nano. Well, I think that that play works. It's just you can't take poke, right? This is what needs to happen. You sit right here. Don't take poke. Your supports, if they go un the uncontested, which, you know, a Sigma, right? I told you Sigma should be playing here, right? So you would have yeah. to help them come up here, but they're not. Yeah, I... Yeah. So, this I is usually, what would happen. 95% of the time, I should probably rotate with the Ana mm. um, to help clear that high ground. Or just tell your Ana to come here. This is a good place, too. This isn't bad, right? This is okay. But either or, if you want to do your cross play, this is what needs to happen. You take no poke. Sit here. Your Ana gets up here, right? And then when your Ana gets up here, she doesn't peek either. Then you jump with full HP up here. Then your Ana peeks the corner. That's how you do a split jump, right? But... It, 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 you know what would be even more convoluted, but also kind of make a little bit of sense as yeah. well? I walk with my Ana up to the high ground, and then I can drop from the backside of window. Don't take any poke. Like, I clear the high ground. If I really want to stage for main, um, I could honestly just drop out the window where you said me, for me to play as Sigma, mm -hmm. like, behind us. Mm -hmm. And I could just drop out and then jump from main instead mm -hmm. of walking all the way up there. Yeah. but I, I just think either. If you, if you come up here, you just do this. Get your supports up here. You're like, okay, no one's up here. Have your Anna come over here. Jump from here. That's or, a better cross. That's a better cross. Or you just, then, or I you don't... just walk out main with your Anna, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that I mean, that was just like this is just communication. Like you just need to scream at your Anna, like Anna, play main, or you need to be like, oh shit, my bad, Anna. I need to go high ground, right? It doesn't matter either or. Both are viable. Um. Like yeah, like you, you're not gonna get anything done here. Like, <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah. I think I had to whisper op to tell him to just follow you. Nice. Right. I popped it too early there. Yeah. Was... Primal was way too early. Um. I, I, in my in the moment of like, why did I press? Now this is also like an early bubble too, right? It's like. Yeah. Damage threat, Baptiste, high or low. Low. Right. So we could be a little greedier with bubble, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if Rihanna was. Also, I also I chase the um, the bap when there's a Hanzo by himself on the top right hand. I, I think actually this is a good play because here's the thing by you doing this right first. I mean Primal, you know, too early just because HP right. Uh, bubble could be better right. Other than those things, you could kill a Hanzo up here, but I think there's a big issue that you could stop right now. What is that? I'm getting them getting value out of window. Yeah. You're disrupting window, right? And so in turn, you make a shit ton of space, right? Let's look at your DPS here. Right? Larry, great positioning. If only, really good positioning. Why can they do this? Because one, two, three, four arrows looking you about to be five. Right? You did this. So, while you coming up here is also a very viable and good play, this is just as good. Maybe even better, right? As long as I don't primal. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was you still can order. primal, but just hold on to it longer, right? More value. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Because you deal more damage in Tesla form than Primal, right? Yeah. Unless, like, you're a god, and I'm not a god. Even then, no, like, even then, like, straight up, like, you just... You're nano boosted and you're cleaving like three targets here. Like it doesn't Wait, matter. No, no, no. When I'm nano boosted, I know I should be in cleave form at all times. No, uh, even in normal I, form, this is more damage than primal. Even then, yeah. more damage than primal. Right? You're hitting three targets, more damage. Just you want to stay in cleave as in Tesla form as much as possible. Right. Right. Primal is just an, uh, something to keep you in longer. Uh, but at that point. That's that's really the uh, the end of it. Because um, I do actually finally play aggressive, get the ash low, and she dies because of it. Yeah, like this is this is good space control, right? We'll, we'll come up here, right? Like up here, really good, right? Stopping them from walking in. Nice bubble. You force coach gun hella early, and the ash dies main. Perfect, right? Kill Mercy, right? You see how much harder it is? They use Imor here. Super early. You see how much harder it is for them to walk out of spawn when you play this yeah. corner than when you play right here? Yeah. Right? So the biggest thing I want you to take away, in general, is play the most aggressive positioning the enemy team will let you. And if you feed a little bit trying to learn that, that's okay. Right? Yeah. Just be like, I think I can play this corner. I think I can play this corner. Actually, I think I could go even deeper, right? That's right. okay. That's good. Um, in terms of hero-specific things, um, just being aware of our shield cooldown, right? Recalling our shield when we throw it out. Um, using our left shift in pre-fight to build HP. Um, now make sure when we do use our left shift in pre-fight that we're not going to want it 13 seconds later. Uh, so just thinking about that. It's like, if I left shift now, am I going to need it? Mm, probably not. And then just using it. Probably not, yeah. Um, and then flux positioning, right? When we flux, where yeah. do we want to be when we finish, right? Where do I want to land? High ground. You want to be on high ground. Most of the time. Uh, better position most of the time. Yeah. Unless, like, you killed four, then you're like, okay, I just want to flux into the last teammate and try and kill him. And then Winston specific stuff. Um, just bubble usage, I think, still, like, um, yeah. in terms of just identifying, does this person have a lot of mobility and low damage? Yes. Okay, I can probably save bubble until he uses mobility, and then I can chase. Uh, and then uh, aggressive positioning. Uh, just jumping on right. further high grounds. But other than that, pretty good stuff. So I think big big work on is just aggressive positioning. Yeah, and also I just got I got to do a little bit more grinding also on Sigma. I mm -hmm. think just getting used to him again. Because mm -hmm. um, I have I was pretty good with him on the old lower sense. It's just getting the cooldown usage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and then also back, yeah. Sigma doing? versus Winston, right? Using a rock. Save it a bit. Yeah, yeah. Save the rock a little bit more. Don't try to hit him in, in the flashy arc. Yeah. Um, Unless you know he doesn't have bubble. If he doesn't have bubble, then yeah, eat that shit. Don't even let him get in the high ground. But he probably won't make right. that jump without bubble. Right. All right. Any questions uh, for me? Uh, not really. Uh, I got to. Um, I think I'm gonna actually have to hop off and go to sleep because I got to work tomorrow. So. No worries. I'll see you guys. I will see you tomorrow. The video Good will night, be on YouTube Florida. if you need it. Later, Florida. No problem. See ya. See you guys.